think it's important to recognize that at the end of the day, uh, development uh, comes back to the citizens. And therefore, it's always important to allow the space uh, for them to participate. Um, I think in terms of agenda setting, it's important to always provide information to citizens and groups and create the necessary space for them to come and participate in it. Uh, there are different levels of doing it. One could be creating town halls, forums, that will bring citizens together to engage with local authorities on issues and agenda that, that are being set for development. Well, essentially, in inclusive participation uh, is where there is some kind of enabling legal and political environments that allow everybody, uh, including marginalized and the vulnerable, to be able to participate in, in, in decision-making processes. So what it requires are the following. First, it requires that there is an enabling legal regime that allows citizens to be able to uh, engage local authorities. There are certain societies that citizens cannot rise up and go and meet uh, with municipal authorities. And so first of all, there should be a law that will create a space and empower citizens to, 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 to participate. Secondly, what is more important is information. Uh, if citizens do not know what uh, they are supposed to ask, uh, you can't have effective and inclusive participation. Uh, so if, for instance, if uh, persons with disabilities do not know that there's a law that says that 3% of fund should be given to them. If they don't know, they, don't, they can't participate and they can't engage with, with authorities to demand what is this. So information is important and information should come from the top, from the municipal authorities, but also from below, from the citizens, to ask and to engage with, 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 with authorities. Uh, NGO support, uh, donor support is good for the initial phase, but as they leave, there should be some kind of sustainability. How you can sustain it when the donor leaves or the NGO leaves is the awareness. Uh, you have to inculcate in the citizens' groups that participation is a right. It is not uh, a privilege. It's a right that they have to always do. So as NGO support, as donor support, you need to let citizens know that this is a right that is mandated by UN conventions, by your own country's constitution, and therefore it should not be a one-day event. I, I think, you know, um, the post-2015 MDG, post MDG goes is all about development. Uh, and about development in broad sense also means that the beneficiaries uh, of the development should be involved in the decision making processes. And if you want to talk about the beneficiaries, we are talking about local government because we all live in municipalities, we all live in local governments. And so there is a, a central role for local government uh, in post MDG, 20, post 2015 MDG goals because at the end of the day, we are looking at citizens benefiting from these goals. And if citizens are going to benefit from these goals, then we are talking about local government or local governance being a key part in the decision-making processes uh, in the post-2015 agenda. So there is a role for local government and if uh, possible uh, there should be a specific uh, goal or specific um, uh, directive that targeting local government as the instrument of achieving post-2015 MDG goals. Mm -hmm.